In this video, I'll talk about the concept of license in Test Center. Then I'll also show you how you can license a test. So let's get started. After setting a test, you are required to license that test. A license is your ability to allow a test to proceed. And you can't just get a license unless you have a license account. So I'm going to explain how to create a license account and also how to fund your license account. So you can find the license menu on the left side. Then under license, you have account and you also have buy slash transfer. So let me start with the account. So how do you create a license account? You can create a new license account by clicking on new account. Then under new account, you can provide the following, your name, your email address, the email address you want to associate with this license account and your password. So I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to use this name. Let me call this demo account. Then the email address I'm going to use is demo at ifsari.com. Then I'm going to use the following password. So once I'm done, I'm going to cl click on this create button. The moment you click on that, a token will be forwarded to your email address. So what you need to do is to get the token and enter it into this field. So here's the token I received. So once you click on proceed, your account will be created. So your account will be created. So now I've gotten my demo account created and this is it. There are cases where you have an existing account and you want to link that existing account to a new server. So let's say you have five centers or five schools and you want everything to be linked to a single account, to a single license account. Instead of creating a new account for every server, you can use this existing account option and then link that account, link your server to that account. So let's say I want to link this server to this account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide the email address of an existing account, then provide the password, right? So in this case, I'm going to provide my password and then I click on proceed. So once you do that, your, your active account will be the existing account you just link the server to. So that's how you create a new account or that's how you link to an existing account. So what about this change password? So let's say you have forgotten your password. You can easily recover it by just providing the email address of the account and then you click on proceed. Then a token will be forwarded to the email address and you'll be asked to change your password. That's how you go about creating a new account or linking to an existing account. So what about this refresh button? This refresh button enables you to see your, your remaining license. So every time you make use of your license and you want to see the, the latest value, you click on this refresh and it refreshes and you see what your new license is all about. So I'm going to talk about how to get license. So let's go to buy and transfer. So the first thing I need to explain is what are the type of license you can get at the moment? So we have different type of license. We have test license, we have SMS license. What that means is you can buy the license for test. You can also buy a license for SMS. So if you have a test license, you'll be able to license a given test before a candidate can sit for that test. And if you buy an SMS license, you'll be able to send SMS, bulk SMS to your user. So the bulk SMS would be an SMS of the results of your candidates or any other information you want to send to them. So how do you get license? 
So you can get license like by clicking on this buy, then you click on tests or SMS, depending on the license you want to get. So in this case, I want to get test license. So the next thing you need to do is to provide a quantity. So a license costs 50 Naira. So a single license costs 50 Naira. So what that implies is if you want to get more than one license, then you multiply. But we have discount. So the more, if the license quantity is higher, then you get some discount. So let's take a look. So let's say I want to get 10 licenses. So 10 license is going to cost me 500 Naira. So there's no discount once your quantity is less than 100. So once you have up to 100, then you start having discount. So in this case, if I want to get 100 license, it means I'll pay 4,750. And that's at 5% discount. So let's say I want to get 1,000 license. It means I'm going to get it at, instead of me getting at 50,000, I'm going to get at 42,500, which means you have a 15% discount. So the, the, the highest discount you can get is 30%. And that's if you are getting 10,000 and above license. So the next question is, how does the license work? So the, the way the license works is you get charged. The, every time you take a test, you, your license will be deducted. And this is how it works. We, the license is per subject. So what that means is if you have a candidate that wants to sit for two subjects, at the, at the time, it means two licenses will be deducted from your account. So what that means is the the way the license works is you'll be charged per subject. A single license is for a single subject that a candidate sits for. So if you have four subjects in total that is kind of one sit for, it means you are going to require four uh, like four units of license to be taken away from your account. So. So the way you can think about it is you can say you are basically paying a maximum of 50 Naira per subject being taken. So that's basically how you should think about it, 50 Naira per subject being taken. But if you are buying in bulk, it means you may get it cheaper. For example, if you actually bought 10,000 units, it means you are, you'll be basically paying for a subject will now be 35 Naira per subject. So that's how the license system works. So you just pay a token for using this application and for announcing the power of test center. So once you've chosen the quantity you want, you click on proceed. So in this case, let's say I'm interested in getting 100 license. I'm going to click on proceed. So the next thing is it, I'll be told the total amount and what I'm about to pay for then. The next is to proceed. So once you proceed, you are going to be redirected to a browser where you will see all the payment options. So you can pay with your card, you can pay with bank, you can pay by transfer or USSD and, and other options out there. So that's how you basically pay for license. And once you've made your payment, you can go back to this page and refresh and you will see that the transaction would have reflected. So that's how you go about license. So let me complete the payment and show you what happens. So the payment has been made successfully. So let's go back to test center. So now on test center page, if I refresh this, I'll be able to see that I successfully made a payment for 100 test license. So that's it. That's how simple it is. And that means you can check your balance here. If you check here, you'll see that your new balance would have been updated here. Okay. So the next thing is, what about if you want to transfer some license? So let's say you have some users under you or some other account, uh, some other license accounts, and you want to buy in bulk under a single account and transfer to other like other sub account right so what you need to do is to transfer so you can easily transfer some of your license to another account so let's say i want to transfer from this account to my demo account i can easily type the quantity so let's say the quantity i wish to transfer is 10 and let's say the account i want to transfer to is demo at 
iafsari.com. So you be uh, you be asked to provide your password, and you proceed. Once the transfer is successful, the receiving account will be notified, and you your account will be notified. And then if you refresh, you will see that you have transferred 10 license from your account to another account. And that's it. So the other account now has 10 additional license. So this is how you buy or this is how you transfer. So in case you want to filter out by whatever metrics, you can do that here. So let's say I want to see just all the license all the transaction that happened today i can just filter by today or let's say i want to see only the uh transaction that has to do with crediting then you can do that or let's say you want to see by debit you can also do the same so there are so many ways you can filter these transactions so this is how you add an account and these are you add an account and also buy license on that, that particular account or transfer to a different account the last thing i would like to mention is how do you use a license so let's go to test menu then let's click on manage and let's create a test let's just set a test for this user so let's set a test for user whose reg number is toby so let's say this user is to seek for SSC objective. And let's say we just want to seek for two subjects, right? So let's move on. So let's pick the subject. So let's say the subjects are mathematics and English and mathematics. So let's say we're interested in 2005 and 2005. Then duration, we can say this is uh 30 minutes then uh the next thing is let's leave every other setting and let's click on set so we now have a new test so once you create a new test you will see that by the it will be unlicensed once you create a new test so you expect to license this test before the candidate can sit for this test if you don't license it the candidate will be able to sit for it so let's take a look at how to license a test you will see that you, you can see license under this particular test. So you click on license, then you can see the information here. Since I have two subjects, it means two units of a license will be deducted from my account, two units. So what that means is I'm going to, I, I'm going to use up two units just to allow this test to go through. So now I'm going to provide my password. And then I'm going to click on license. So the moment you do that, you will see that the test will move from not licensed to pending. So now the candidate can sit for this particular test. So you can also license in bulk. So let's say I have like 100 unlicensed tests. I can go to modify and license the entire hundred in bulk. So this is how you go about licensing a given test.